What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Liverpool Manchester United Europa League preview, prediction and analysis game. This is one of the most anticipated game of the season and one of the biggest games of the season for me. Liverpool and Manchester United, two of the biggest rivals in England. Probably this is the biggest game in English football, arguably. And they never met in European competition before, so when I saw the draw I was both excited and also very nervous because Liverpool just cannot afford to go out in, in Europe to our bitterest rivals Manchester United. But recent uh, stats don't look very good. Manchester United have won the last four encounters in the league and uh, since David Moyes got sacked. Liverpool always lost to Manchester United in the last two seasons, so we have to fix that. But Jurgen Klopp said that he wanted Manchester United in the draw and I think he has a fully fit team now. Well, not a fully fit team, but a much fitter team with a lot more players available to him. And I think the key to this game will be the midfield battle. But before I get into the analysis, let me know your prediction for the game. Which, uh, which battle will decide the game and who will go through, let me know in the comments below. And also, uh, if you are a neutral fan, which team is better to watch? Um, is uh, the Liverpool football better to watch? In recent, recently we have hit uh, some form, but the thing with these games, these, these huge, huge games, form book goes out of the window. In the last four meetings, I have some stats to give to you guys. Liverpool had 53 shots, Man United had 33. Remember, these last four meetings were won by Man United. Shots on target, 18 to 14. And also, the goals, two goals scored by Liverpool, nine goals scored by Manchester United. So basically, Manchester United scored nine goals from 14 shots on target. And that's, that says a lot. In, on the other hand, Liverpool scored 2 from 18 shots on target and I think to the, to the key to this game will be the goalkeepers and the defences because I think both teams have very good attacks and very good midfields but at the moment with Smalling back for Manchester United and De Gea in top form their defence is better than Liverpool's defence and that's where we have fallen to them in recent seasons because basically in, for example, the game at Anfield, we created loads of chances. We should have scored two or three goals. We didn't. De Gea made incredible saves and we made some bad, bad misses in front of goal. And Manchester United had one shot on target. They scored from and they won the game 1-0. So I think Liverpool will start off the game with that high-pressing, high-tempo game. Man United will try to slow down the game and that will be the key. Who will dictate the game? Uh, speed, the game of play and also the midfield battle guys it's huge because if if Liverpool can uh, put the pressure on Manchester United their midfield and defense can make mistakes but they, they certainly have the players like Juan Mata, like Ander Herrera like Carrick who can play uh, through that high pressing and that's where they can be dangerous because if they hit us on the counter attack Martial who can go up against uh, Klein or Moreno, you know, it will be very difficult. Sadly, Flanagan is, is not registered for the Europa League, so he won't be able to play in this game. And I think Liverpool will play with Mignolet in goal, Klein, Sacco and maybe Lovren and Moreno in defense. Lovren has looked really solid since Klopp took over, but there is also talk that maybe uh, Sacco, Lovren and Colo Toure will start in a in a back three and uh, then we will have the full backs playing as wing, ba wing backs and uh, also we play basically a 3-5-2 formation there are rumors of that but I think we will, we will go with a 4-2-3-1 with Emre Can and, uh, and uh, Jordan Henderson in that midfield too Milner, Firmino and Coutinho up front uh, and ahead of them Daniel Sturridge Daniel Sturridge didn't play in the last two games I believe so I think Jurgen Klopp is resting him for this game and uh, basically the game will turn on if Liverpool can score their chances because I think we will create chances at Anfield against Manchester United the big question is can we score first in this game because that would be huge and we, I, I believe that we need to win this game 
a draw or a Manchester United win, it will be very difficult to go to Old Trafford and, and win there. So we need to get at least a one goal victory. Of course, the perfect game would be to keep a clean sheet, win 1-0 or 2-0 and go to Old Trafford and score an away goal. And then it should be no problem, but it's it's always, these games are always so, so difficult, so hard to predict. So I think the, the big question will be, will we'll be able to we will we'll be able to dominate the midfield? Emre Chan and Henderson and James, James Milner can can they dominate against the likes of Carrick uh, under Herrera and maybe Schneiderlin coming in or uh, or Juan Mata? So so it will be very very interesting to see uh, what kind of formation will both managers play? I think Jurgen Klopp will will start off with a high press high tempo game, trying to pressure Manchester United, trying to score a goal in the first 20-30 minutes. On the other hand, Manchester United will try to slow the game down, build from the back. So it will be very interesting which, which style of play will prevail at Anfield. I expect a very tight game, not a lot of goals. I hope I'm wrong and there will, it will be a 4-3 game or something like that. But it's anybody's game. My prediction is actually a 2-1 Liverpool victory. Hopefully we can win the game and then get to Old Trafford and maybe get to draw there and go through. But it will be very difficult. This Manchester United team, is, uh, is the, it, they have very good players. They are in, in a bad form at the moment, losing to West Brom recently. So I think they will be a wounded animal. On the other hand, I trust Liverpool. They have been playing much better recently. Against Crystal Palace, it was a... Um, very bad performance in the first 17 minutes but then we somehow dug out the result and that should give the players the confidence and if if we can play like we played against Man City in, at Anfield where we were brilliant we won 3-0 I think we have a big chance to beat Man United and go through to the next round and remember I think these these games are huge for both teams because I don't think Liverpool and Man United have a big chance of finishing in the top four they are big outsiders so the route to the Champions League for both teams could be to win the Europa League and that adds even more significance to these games. So let me know what you think about this game in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching guys. See you later. Goodbye.